Dear mother and father, I am writing to you from the Holy Land's Belfast. It is a very peculiar place. I haven't felt warmth in over a week. I'm surviving on rations of pot noodles and benson and edges. My housemates have somehow kept their spirits up. It's probably all the fucking drugs to keep their sanity. Christopher has taken up rolling cigarettes while Finton makes handmade bongs from old tins of boost. The landlord is currently bumming us into another dimension, so we are saving what little we have for score bags of marijuana. I yearn for my Egyptian cotton bed sheets. I now sleep on an old mattress on the floor that smells like chlamydia and hamster piss. It's sometimes hard to get to sleep with a symphony of smicks joyriding outside my bedside window. But I do have my methods. This place isn't all bad. There are some new wonderful experiences to be had. Just the other night my good companion Jonathan took home a romantic suitor that fondly reminded me of Papa working on the farm with one of our prized heifers. He got the whole arm in her, and in the morning she produced a full pint of the finest full-fat dairy he'd ever tasted. I myself had a chuckle some experience when I woke up that exact morning with a foggy memory and a Jurex ribbed hanging out my bum bum. Oh, tell Dad I miss him. And to send me 20 pounds for the electric meter, snorting lines in dim fluorescence is an awful waste of good Colombian marching powder. Oh, I do hope to see your faces again one day, but my hope of such a day is slowly fading. Give the children all my love. Now I must go. I'm going to get smashed off my fucking tits. Much love, your darling son. P.S. I'll be back on Saturday with the washing.